so here we have my deep water culture veggies um, got some uh, what have we got broccoli here and we got some cauliflower here and then kale there um, these are they've been in this tub for about oh, when did they get in probably about uh, a week and a half now um, they're just starting to really sort of kick off now which is good they're starting to get their true leaves just here which is nice apart from the kale of course they usually grow pretty wild in any conditions though which is good um, yeah so deep water culture first time I've ever done it um, yeah very I've been reading a lot about it and excellent results across the board with deep water culture um, for those who aren't familiar with it basically there's a there's a reservoir here full of water you can see see that water line up to there inside I'll just pop this open so you can see what's going on yeah you can see the air bubbles down there um, these roots here see if I can focus in So the roots are starting to come out now, which is nice. They're going to grow out. They're going to grow into that reservoir, which is highly oxygenated. And then there's a heater over there. You can see a little black silver thing over there. That's the heater, which I've got at 20 degrees. The reason I've got that heater on is because uh, it's just winter here, south of um, Victoria in Australia. And uh, it gets pretty chilly down here. Um, so yeah, I spoke to a guy at a hydro shop. He said definitely put a heater in the water um, because basically what will happen is the water will get so cold overnight that the, fran the plants might even go into shock. Um, I found I should have hardened them off, but I didn't. I'll do it next time. It's all um, definitely part of the learning process, but I'll um, harden them off next time, probably for about a week. I'll put them out in the sun in the daytime and then bring them in under the lights. At night, I just had them under a shop light, like a T8 light, with some Sylvania grow bulbs in the light, just a dual, dual T8. Um, I'll show you this one. This one's the, the one that's sort of, yeah, that's the kale, kale roots. And they're starting to, starting to get into, they're actually dangling into this, this water now, which is great. So probably in a couple of weeks time, you'll see all of the roots that have come out of the net pots and they'll be into into the reservoir here I think these are like just under three inch or they might be three inch net pots um, one thing I didn't take into account when I built this and I cut the holes was these plants are way too close together like you can see that's that's my hand and that's yeah way too close you should really to be honest you probably have four in this because once the broccoli leaves come out they're going to be they'll probably be out that big so i might take out these ones in the middle maybe leave it at six just do six but possibly might even just take out these two and just put one in each corner like that because then they can sort of droop over because they're going to get pretty big and i'll do an update in the future um pH wise I've got this running at about 6.4 I think at the moment I haven't done a pH I didn't I didn't check pH so I might actually do that now I'll just pause the video while I do that all right so let's just check the pH here there you go all right, it's still at 6.4 6.3, that's good. Yep, so 6.3, which is excellent. I always just give this a bit of a rinse off under just normal tap water. And you can see the tap water here is at 7.3, 7.4. Um, so 6.3, no. I haven't even added any pH down to that. So once I, once I um, added my nutrients um, uh, and I let the airstone run, that's another little tip 
you're going to do this is put your airstone in and let it run for about an hour just with the lid off like this because it will it will get rid of all the uh, the chlorine out of the water which is super important because you don't want your plants being in chlorine um, so yeah just uh, having uh, having that airstone in there and um, basically letting that airstone run just to evaporate all the chlorine out of the water you can probably see a bit better now but yeah you can see there's a heater over there and obviously the airstone this is a dual air pump so I'm going to run another cord off this but it's definitely enough um, definitely enough oxygen for this particular tank you can see it's nicely bubbling um, and yeah that's that's how easy it is I've just put this put the plants aside there the lid and that's how easy it will be to to change this reservoir in, in a few weeks time okay um, yeah feel free to uh, leave a comment